good morning now today we are going to solve the exercise 2.2 question number 11 we have to find the value of the given thing question is tan inverse of 2 cos inverse 2 sin inverse 1 by 2 see given here tan of cos of sin sin inverse is given here so first let us solve for the sin inverse then we will solve for the cos and then we will go for the tan inverse now first let us take sin inverse sin inverse of 1 by 2 is there so first 1 by 2 is a value which relate where which value is relating to this sin inverse we have to see see 1 by 2 we know that sin pi by 6 is equal to 1 by 2 so sin inverse of sin theta means theta will be the value so this we can take and we can apply here so this is equal to tan inverse of 2 cos of 2 sin inverse this 1 by 2 we can write as sin pi by 6 now sin inverse of sin pi by 6 is pi by 6 so this is equal to tan inverse 2 cos 2 this value is pi by 6 now this get cancelled here it is 3 now this is equal to tan inverse 2 cos pi by 3 now cos pi by 3 value is cos pi by 3 value is equal to 1 by 2 now now let us substitute that so tan inverse of 2 into 1 by 2 now these two will get cancelled this is equal to tan inverse of 1 that is equal to pi by 4 now the next question is tan 1 by 2 sin inverse sin inverse this is sin inverse sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square plus cos inverse minus 1 minus y square by 1 plus y square condition is mod x less than 1 y greater than 0 and xy is less than 1 these are the conditions given here now given here it is tan here uh, and inside we have the function of sin inverse and cos inverse here now First, we have to solve the sine inverse and cos inverse and we have to solve the tan here. It is not tan inverse, tan here. So, we have to see that what we have to give for the sine inverse and cos inverse so that it is easy to solve with this tan. Now, if it is of tan inverse, then tan inverse of tan, we can solve it easily. So, we have to try here. We have to check what formula is there with relating this sine inverse and tan inverse. Now, we know the formula to tan inverse x is equal to sine inverse 2x by 1 plus x square. Similarly, for cos, cos is in terms of y. So, we can write that formula in y itself to tan inverse of y is equal to cos inverse 1 minus y square by 1 plus y square we have the direct formula here so directly we can go and apply here now this is equal to tan 1 by 2 now sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square value is 2 tan inverse x plus cos inverse 1 minus y square by 1 plus y square value is tan inverse y 2 tan inverse y here now both the terms are having 2 here let us take the term 2 common out 1 by 2 into 2 and then remaining is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y here now 2 and 2 will get cancelled now tan inverse x and tan inverse y is there tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to you know the formula tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus x y. Now this formula we can apply here. Now this is equal to tan of tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus x y. Now tan of tan inverse is equal to tan theta only. Now this value x plus y by 1 minus x 
y. This is the value of this given function. The next question is if tan inverse of x minus 1 by x minus 2 plus tan inverse x plus 1 by x plus 2 equal to pi by 4. If this is so, then we have to find the value of x here. Here tan inverse of, let us take the entire term it as x and this entire term as y here. So tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y by 1 minus xy. Now let us apply this formula for this one. Now <coughs> tan inverse x plus y x term is entire term x minus 1 by x plus x minus 2 plus x plus 1 by x plus 2 divided by 1 minus x minus 1 by x minus 2 into x plus 1 by x plus 2 now this is equal to pi by 4 here now we have to prove that we have to find the value of x here now see here take the LCM here tan inverse see here x minus 2 is there so x plus 2 is there so just cross multiply x minus 1 cross multiply x plus 2 plus this side x plus 1 into x minus 2 divided by LCM is x minus 2 into x plus 2 this whole divided by 1 minus just to first multiply these terms <coughs> Take the LCM also and then multiply. See here x minus 2 into x plus 2 is the term. So take, just multiply that x minus 2 x plus 2 minus x minus 1 into x plus 1. Here also LCM is x minus 2 into x plus 2. Now see here this is also having this one as a denominator and this term also having this as a denominator a by b by c by d is equal to a by b into d by c we can write now this is equal to tan inverse x minus 1 x plus 2 plus x plus 1 x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 x plus 2 minus x minus 1 x plus 1 this is equal to pi by 4 here also it is equal to pi by 4 both get cancelled here now this is equal to take this tan inverse to next side now let us solve this one just multiply here x into x x square x into 2 2 x minus 1 into x minus x minus 1 into 2 minus 2 plus x into x x square x into minus 2 minus 2x plus 1 into x plus cx 1 into minus 2 minus 2 divided by a minus b a plus b that is a square minus b square that is 2 square it is 4 here minus here also same way a square minus b square value is 1 this is equal to tan pi by 4 tan inverse goes to next side as tan here tan pi by 4 value is 1 so this side it is 1 now x square x square is there so this is equal to 2x square 2x square now here plus 2x is there here minus 2x is there so both get cancelled here minus x is there here plus x is there so both get cancelled here minus 2 here minus 2 so here it is minus 4 divided by now just to subtract this one x square minus 4 
minus x square minus into minus plus plus 1. This is equal to 1 here. Now this implies 2x square minus 4. Denominator minus x plus x square both get cancelled. This value is equal to minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. This is equal to 1. Now just cross multiply. So 2x square minus 4 is equal to minus 3. Now 2x square is equal to minus 4 when goes to next side it becomes plus 4. So this is equal to 1. So 2x square equal to 1. x square is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore x is equal to plus or minus 1 by root. Two. When square goes to next side, it will become root there. Plus or minus sign will be there. Therefore, x value is plus or minus 1 by root 2. This is the value of the x. The next question is sine inverse of sine 2 pi by 3. Now, see here sine inverse of sine of 2 pi by 3. If it is given in this format, means directly we will write what value we have here. But before we are writing this, we will, uh, always we will be checking that whether it belongs to that range or not. Now see here, sine inverse is ranges from minus 1 to 1. That uh, here it is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Now see here, 2 pi by 3 is there. 2 pi by 3. Let us convert this into the angle here. It is 2 into 180 degree divided by 3. So, if we get cancelled means the answer will be 120. Now, 120 degree is there. Now, see here in this one here all the all the trigonometric values are positive. Here sine alone is positive. Here tan alone is positive. Here cos alone is positive here. Now see here this one minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. This does not belongs to this range here. So we have to convert this to pi by 3 to the next format in such a way that it will belongs to these two ranges. Now how to convert that? Sine of pi minus theta will be sine theta in the second quadrant it will lie therefore it will be in the positive quadrant only. So we will write this 2 pi by 3 as pi minus of pi by 3 here. So this can be written as sine inverse of sine here this will be rewrite as pi minus of pi by 3. Now see here 3 if the cross multiply 3 pi minus pi will be 2 pi 2 pi by 3. Now see <coughs> sin of pi minus theta sin of pi minus theta that is sin theta only so it is positive so sin pi by 3 this is equal to sin inverse of sin pi by 3. Now sine inverse of sine pi by 3 is equal to pi by 3 only. So this pi by 3 belongs to the range of closed interval pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 here.